The Mediterranean's warm summers and mild winters create an excellent climate for cane growing. After the harvest is completed, the cane poles are dried for several months until the summer. Then in the summer, poles are exposed to direct sun rays for 12 to 18 days on one side. They are then turned and exposed for 6 to 12 days on the other side. The best poles are bundled and transferred for storage into our warehouse. Poles are then transferred to our sawing department. They are sawed into tubes, removing the nodes. Tubes are graded by diameter and wall thickness. After the grading is completed, the tubes are split into four pieces, called splits. Splits are then transformed into a reed blank by planing the surface flat and tapering the sides to the correct dimensions of a reed. The blank begins to take on the shape of a finished reed. RICO has developed sophisticated automated equipment using optical lasers to ensure that each blank is properly cut to exact dimensions. Millions of blanks pass under a color video inspection system to sort out any flaws in cane color and quality. Special polishing discs ensure a flat and smooth finish, essential for the reed to properly seal against the mouthpiece. Finally, a rough cut is made to begin the final stage of the reed making process. The vamp, or cut part of the reed, is what enables the reed to vibrate. The vamp is painstakingly designed to give players the sound and response required for a variety of musical styles. The vamp process cuts the profile into the reed to precise measurements using specially designed natural diamond cutters. These cutters provide a glass-like finish and control dimensional accuracy to measurements smaller than a human hair. After the cutting process, reeds are then measured for strength. The reed tip is gently deflected and the strength is measured according to the hardness of the reed. This is a critical step to ensure that reeds feel consistent. Reeds are then transferred to an automated packaging machine that performs a final video inspection under high magnification to sort out any flaws and defects. Reeds are then laser engraved with their logo and gently inserted into their plastic reed holders. Reed holders are automatically fed into the reed cartons and sealed. 